Where'd you get this desk? Uh, do I just go? Can you shake it? I can just pick any of these. Hmm. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what was your favorite residence hall you lived in? What was your favorite class and why? Do you have a favorite spot to study on campus? Who was your favorite professor? So what was your favorite campus activity? Give me a second. <laughs> That's such a hard question. Holy Cross took me on a total wild journey throughout my four years. This year I had the opportunity to lead a trip to New Orleans. Um, so that was probably one of the most transformative Holy Cross experiences meeting Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas when I did the DC program. We actually got to live in the rainforest for four months, which a lot of people can't say they did. Favorite professor is Professor McAllister. Um, and he's been my research advisor in the biology department, as well as, at this point, my mentor in life. Um, behind his back, I've called him Prof Dad, but like I never told him that. <laughs> Experience in the NCAA tournament with my teammates, my, my, my coaching staff, and, uh, the student body is definitely uh, my favorite time here. And not necessarily because I think that necessarily my volunteerism or my service really changed the world, but I think it absolutely changed me and my perspective on issues of social justice. And I think that's something that I'm going to carry with me to the voting booth, to my career. I've realized just from my time here that what's fulfilling is what, is what makes me happy and um, is what I believe to be important and significant. People just taking care of other people and remembering that we all kind of belong to each other. All these different people's worldviews and experiences uh, of all the different people that I've met is something that I think I've uh, become part of me and that I'm going to take with me beyond Holy Cross. There's this kind of invisible thread that connects us all as humans and as people. An ability to understand people who are different from me and being able to sympathize and empathize with them during the right situations. I really uh, cultivated and developed my activist voice. I found like what I'm passionate for, what I want to do. Thinking about what I care about and prioritizing those concerns and issues and making sure that the path that I lead after Holy Cross reflects those values and not what my paycheck is or what my title is. One thing that I will carry with me that this school has given me is this unshakable trust in myself and in my abilities. Okay. Okay. The question reads, what's your favorite memory of your time at Holy Cross? Oh. Oof. Definitely friends. Yeah, I mean, I think that's like the part that makes Holy Cross feel like home. Meeting you. The people. Best friends. 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 Friendships. New friendships here. Best friends. 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 Holy yeah. Cross is a huge family. Good friends really do go to Holy Cross, and that's something that I want to embody and take with me going forward. So it's definitely going to be hard to say goodbye to everyone. Oh, that's so sad. I'm leaving. This one's for you, Dom. This is not going in. <laughs> Please, what do I have to do?